This question has some tough words, and I do think that if you are just trying to memorize definitions, you might not be as confident as if you've just been a good reader your whole life and you've learned words through experience. So let's take a look at this one. Uh, proposals to raise the age at which retirees begin receiving government transfers of funds are generally discussed in terms of the effects on transfer recipients. But... Andrea Smythe has argued that delaying such transfers could blank wealth creation among working adults by lengthening the period in which they are providing financial support to their non-working parents. So we're talking about receiving funds, um, right? The effects on the recipients, but delaying, so that's bad. Such transfers could blank wealth creation, right? So if we're kind of focusing on the butt here, this does feel very positive, and then we're lengthening the period and they're providing financial support to someone else. So that's bad for them, right? So they have to spend money. So there is this kind of positive to negative kind of switch, which we'd expect from the word, but so um, we're, we're going to, I don't know, hurt wealth creation, right? If we delay um, uh, this, these transfers, you're going to hurt the ability of certain people to, to get wealthy, to have money. Um, so that's, you know, dumb summary kind of thinking there. And then if we go to the choices, we have a, a lot of tough words and, and a lot of them kind of overlap. So for me, because I have a good vocabulary, the answer here was obvious. Stymie means to kind of stop or um, block, right, or hold back. So it's perfect. You're hurting the wealth creation. You're stopping it. You're preventing it from happening. So you're stymieing it. And uh, there you go. That's that's exactly what I want to say here. Um, now, compound means to kind of make something get bigger, right? We we actually talk about the word compound a lot when we talk about money because we have compound, uh, we you know, compound interest. We can kind of put the emphasis on a different syllable, but it's the same idea, right? Is it grows over time? So to compound is kind of like to to grow. So this is more like an opposite of what we want to see here, right? Now, disparage doesn't make any sense. It's definitely a negative word, but to disparage is to kind of insult. You might disparage a person, but you're not really going to disparage wealth creation. That would be saying that making money is bad. So I don't know, maybe some some radicals would want to do that and say like, yeah, let's go all just live in the woods. But we're not talking about that here. This is definitely wrong. We're not disparaging wealth creation where it, it just doesn't make any sense. Um now, outstrip is the one that I think a lot of people are going to want to put because outstrip is, it's kind of, it, it, it's, it makes it sound like we're, I don't know, it, it, basically here's what outstrip means, is it means to kind of like go faster than. So if we're trying to, you might say like, um, you know, uh, the, the, the car outstrips a bike in most cases, right? It's, it's going to be faster to be in a car going somewhere than riding a bike going somewhere. That's, that's maybe the best way to kind of get a simple example of that. It's going faster than it. It's, it's, it's overpacing it, I guess. Um, and so here, it just doesn't make any sense. Delaying such transfers could outstrip wealth creation. We might say something like, um, that it's so hard here. It's so subtle. Um, if we delayed the transfers, then wealth creation among the older population would outstrip wealth creation among the younger population because the younger population has to take care of the older population. So they're not, they're, they're spending money. They're not getting money. So you could compare two different groups of people and say wealth creation in one group outstrips, outpaces, is faster than the other group. But here we're really just talking about one group. And, and so there isn't this comparison element. And so outstrip just doesn't really make any sense. Whereas stymie doesn't really require another group. We're just stopping something for one group of people. That is really, really tough. So for most people, this is going to be a question where you just, I don't know, hopefully something feels right and you kind of pick something and move on. If you don't know the words, do not spend an extra two or three minutes trying to debate what the words mean. You, you don't know. There's no special little fairy that comes down and whispers it in your ear. You've got to be honest. I don't know these words. I don't understand the sentence. Go to the passages. You, you might be able to get those passages because in the passage, we have way more context. So even if there are hard words, there's probably other iterations of these words and ideas that will allow you to still understand what's going on. Whereas here, you're kind of just stumped. 
But it's a reminder that yes, for the top scores, you need to know words, you need to know definitions, and you need to know the usage of those words. So you're able to do the thing I'm doing here with stymie versus outstrip. It's, it's subtle, it's hard to articulate, and you can tell I'm struggling here, but it is important for a, some of the hardest vocab questions to understand when words can be used and when they can't.